Football Weekly is in Indianapolis for Super Bowl 46. Both teams now are in town. We got a chance to speak to both of them today. And Eric, there's going to be a few storylines that we know of going into the week. It's a rematch from four years ago. The Patriots are downplaying how much of, and they're looking for revenge, but it's got to play a little bit of a role, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it has to. You know, is it something that's going to come up in the locker rooms every day? Is it going to be a huge part of what Tom Brady talks about or, or Bill Belichick talks about all week? I suspect not. But deep down, those seven or eight guys who are on that team were back now in the situation. They're hungry and they know the opportunity they lost last time. Yeah, you know they don't like losing. Bill Belichick, it, Tom Brady certainly don't want to suffer through that again. Every year it seems like at the Super Bowl there's an injury to keep an eye on. We've seen Terrell Owens in the past, Morky's Pouncey last year. This time it's Rob Gronkowski with that ankle. What do you expect from him, not only this week, but then on Sunday? Yeah, two more to throw in there. Heinz Ward and Dwight Freeney. Both guys made an impact early in those respective games. So we might see the same kind of thing and Bill Belichick might realize, hey, I don't know if we can get four quarters out of Rob Gronkowski. So let's hit him hard and let's hit him early. Let's get as many passes thrown his way. And then maybe we can get away with turning him into a blocker or a decoy, something like that. So I wouldn't be shocked to see some early performance because, look, he's going to play. I mean, we know it. He may not practice this week, but I would be stunned to not see him out there. Hit him early, give him some opportunities, and then let's see if we can go somewhere else. Obviously, they need it besides Tom Brady, maybe the most important part of that yeah. offense. The other thing people will be talking about this week is that we're in Peyton Manning's hometown. His brother is playing in the Super Bowl, and no one knows what's going to happen with his future. Yeah, against his arch rival, I guess, yeah. and Tom Brady, the guy he's often measured against. It's such a weird confluence of events. I've never qu quite seen anything like this. Usually we're talking about the Hall of Fame, Roger Goodell. No, this is the story this week off the field. So I suspect there won't be a lot of news, but we'll hear from Jim Irsay and Peyton Manning and we'll find out what, uh, what they're talking about. Of all years for it to be in Indianapolis, no. it's this one with the questions around Peyton Manning. That's what's going on from Indianapolis. Keep checking back to ProFootballWeekly.com for updates on the Super Bowl throughout the week. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.